Set in a Florida police station in the dead of night, American Son follows a mother and her estranged husband as they anxiously await news about their missing teenage son. American Son is now a Netflix movie starring, starring Kerry Washington, and it's also the latest production coming to the Fresno State University Theater. Here now from the cast is Ananda Schaefer, uh, who plays Kendra, and Jacob Sherwood, who plays Scott. So thank you guys so much for being here. All right, this play, American Son, it deals with some heavy topics. What is the play about? So American Son, I don't want to give away too much. It's about this biracial couple, um, this married couple who are looking for their son. And there's some tension. And does it all take place in one room? Is mm -hmm. that the is that the one setting? It yeah. is, yes. How do you how does that dictate how you act or how does that affect the play, do you think? Uh as an actor, it's definitely challenging because I have to get creative. Right. With dumping all this vulnerability and these projections of Kendra's emotions and expressions in this one setting. Yes. Okay, so Kendra's the mom, right? Yes. yes. And then are you her husband in Correct. the play? So what I was reading about it is that it deals with... Um, racial tensions, it deals with parenting, mm -hmm. uh, and so some pretty heavy topics. What do you think the audience will walk away with after seeing this play? It's a heavy question <laughs> too, right? But I think it's a thought-provoking play, so what do you think they might walk away with once they see it? You, oh. uh, I'll say my <laughs> turn. Um, I hope they walk away with the desire to start having actual conversations with people. Mm -hmm. Something that we've talked about is in this show, you know, we're playing a married couple who's having conversations that should have happened a long time ago. They just don't yeah. for whatever reason. And hopefully this will cause people to start having those incredibly important conversations because uh, nothing gets done unless you start talking about it first. Yes, especially if you are married, the way that you have good relationships is if you talk. So how do you prepare for a role like this? Uh, my preparation was a lot of time. Uh -huh. Time with the script, time with the character Kendra. I was actually just telling Jake that I like to let the character get into me rather than me getting into the character. So. One of the ways I prepared was just a lot of time, yeah. uh, a lot of deep breathing, uh, a lot of faith, and just listening. Yeah. Silencing my surroundings, myself, listening to Kendra mm -hmm. as she's going to express herself through me. So. How did you prepare for the role? Um, for me, it's a little different because I am a father, I'm married. Uh, so for me, there's a lot of times where I'm thinking, as a father, why would I say this? or how do I really feel about the situation? What am I really trying to get at? And especially with a lot of the arguments with, uh, with Kendra, with Nani's character, it's, there's a lot of arguing and it's important to find the love in the situation and it's not angry and hatred, it's pain, Yeah. right? They're both dealing with a lot of pain and a lot of fear Yeah. as they're trying to figure this out and deal with situations and problems that they have and need to deal with. Yes, that's a fine line when you're acting out an argument mm -hmm. to come from a place where you're not just coming from, you're not just channeling anger, but you have to channel the love that's involved in this, in this, you know, made up relationship. So that's a hard thing to tap into. Mm -hmm. Is this your guys' first um, play with University Theater or have you done others? I'm, I've been a behind the scenes cat. Oh, so okay. this is, this is a first for me. And how do you like uh, it out there on stage? You know, on stage, I don't really know what happens. I just get out there, and then before I know it, we're back in the dressing rooms changing. <laughs> Honestly, I, I don't, the, it's just a flow. The character yeah. takes over, and that's, that's really just it. So when can we see American Sun? When's the run? Tonight. Tonight, <laughs> Tonight is the opening yeah. night. And I, be, I believe you have, you have two runs. So the 29th and 30th and then October 3rd through the 7th. Yes. Correct. So where can we get tickets? Why should we see it? And uh, how do we make sure that we can get tickets? Tickets, you can get them online. Uh, if you go to Fresno State or theater or university theater, there should be a direct link. 
Also, you can go to Fresno State's theater department in the mm -hmm. speech building. There is a box office. You can get them there as well. Um, but you should expect seeing the play, expect to be confronted, uh, expect to probably be a little uncomfortable with, you know, the social topics. Yeah. Deals with a lot of racism, a lot of identity, uh, those sort of things. And you might even laugh or cry a little bit, so. Well, that, that's the yeah. mark of, yeah. of a good play, you yeah. know, is if you've got that comic relief. And that's art, right? When we force yeah. people to be uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. So we will have all the information on where you can see American Sun and how you can get tickets. Thank you guys so much. Break a leg, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Coming up, Apple TV's retro series Physical came to an end this week, but the obsession with the 80s fashion is still strong. KTLA's Courtney Fryle gets into character with the TV show's costume designer. Plus, robots take over the world. Jigsaw returns and Paw Patrol is back. Dean Richards has your weekend movie review after this.